welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials today we will discussing with the solidification of binary metal alloys binary metal alloys or you can say the metal a and metal b which will be making a new metal and that would be called as a binary metal alloy so that will be the theory of the solidification or you can say from higher temperature to room temperature or you can say from liquid phase to transformation into solid phase so let us start with the solidification of binary metal alloys so here just you can see x axis and y axis x axis representing time where y axis representing temperature so that will be nothing but the cooling curve for binary solid metals so here we assuming that metal a having a melting point which will be higher than metal b so a and b which forms the new materials or new solid solution and it will be called as a binary solid metals in another way it will be also called as a both the metals a and b which will be 100% soluble into liquid state and in solid state so just you can assuming a point which will be higher than the melting point of metal a and b which will be cools to point number 2 or you can say b or you can say at melting point of a which will be higher so it will be representing b so a to b process it will be just temperature is drop down without changing the liquid phase so a to b process it will be representing 100% liquid then you can see by the time and according to the melting point of b metal which will be lower than the melting point of a metal so it will be the point number c so that will be considering as a end point of the solidification process so as from the point number b it will be considering as a starting point of the solidification in case of binary solid metals and c point that will be the end point of the solidification metal so b to c region you can see it will be having a two phases like liquid plus solid once again the temperature drop down with respect to time up to the room temperatures and it will be representing the c d regions which will be having a 100% solid so just you can refer the temperature versus time a to b region that will be higher than the melting point of both the metals of a and b which will be having 100% liquid in between two melting point of a and b which will be representing as a liquid plus solid phase and after c or you can say the lower melting point of metal b that makes a 100% solid so that will be also proved by the gibbs phase rule so let us start with the gibbs phase rule or apply the gibbs phase rule so here p plus f that will be equal to c plus 2 where p stands for number of phase is present f is equal to degree of freedoms or variables which will be act on to the binary system c that means the component system so in case of binary solid metals it will be the two components system once again that gibbs phase rule it will be modified because our each and every process at constant pressure so that will be p plus f equal to c plus 1 so let us start with the application in between region a to b so p plus f that will be equal to c plus 1 here p that will be the one phase because 100% liquid so 1 plus f that will be equal to 2 plus 1 c means 2 because that will be considering as a binary metal so two metal or two component system so finally you get f is equal to 2 that means what 
temperature and composition without changing the liquid phase. So, only two variables temperature and composition without changing the liquid phase. So, just it will be temperature is drop down and composition is changed, but no change with respect to the phase or you can say liquid. So, liquid remains liquid up to the point number B. Then taking the region B C, once again applying the Gibbs phase rule P plus F equal to C plus 1. So, here it will be the two phase because at point number B that will be representing as the starting point of the solidification or you can say the starting point to formation of nuclei. So, that nuclei generally it will be from higher melting point of the metal. In our case that will be from metal A because that metal A having a higher melting points. So, here from region B to C it will be two phase. So, 2 plus F equal to C plus 1. So, C means 2. So, finally, you get F is equal to 1. So, F is equal to 1 means only temperature is changing without changing the liquid or solid phase. So, just you can see that will be not considering as a constant temperature process. So, temperature is a one of the parameters it will be only changing into the B to C region. So, after that region C D P plus F equal to C plus 1. So, put the value and you can get the answer F is equal to 2 means what? temperature and composition without changing the solid phase because C point is representing end point of the solidification process. So, from higher temperature you can say point number A to point number D both the metals A and B which will be having a hundred percent soluble into liquid state and solid state and that will be also proved with the help of Gibbs phase rule. So, thank you very much. If you like it, then subscribe, like and share mechanical magic, mechanical learning tutorials.